This is an overview of the Aletha Career and Technical Education programs. The CTE programs are available to students in their junior or senior year for two to three hours each day. Students attend their own high school for four to five hours and then they come to the program site for the remainder of that day. There are three locations for the CTE programs. The Aletha Advanced Technical Center housed at Aletha North Campus, Aletha North High School, and then the Early Childhood Centers at Heartland and Harmony Elementary. There is busing and transports available to and from these programs at Aletha Northwest High School. The one exception is the Health Career Program that requires independent transportation due to the multiple site usage. At OATC, the Career Tech programs are Automotive Technology, Auto Collision, Construction, and Welding Technology. All of these programs are three hours each. The Automotive Technology program at OATC is a two-year program that offers dual credit through college credit systems. For more information, contact Ken Gandy or Ed Hensley. The Auto Collision Program is a two-year program also housed at OATC. With more information, contact Paul Katsis at OATC. The Construction Trades Program is housed at OATC and Olathe North High School. For more information on this program, this two-year program, contact Gary Anderson. Also at OATC is the Welding Technology Program that's a two-year program for students. If interested, contact Gary Pomier. The ECHO Program or the Early Childhood Career Opportunities Program are housed at two different sites, Harmony Elementary and Heartland Elementary Center. These are each two hours a day, periods one and two at Harmony, periods six and seven at Heartland. In the ECHO program, students work directly with preschool children in unique lab settings at one or two early childhood centers. For more information, contact Judy Polson or Kristen McDonald. At Olathe North, the CTE programs are Culinary Arts, which is a three-hour course, and Health Career Sciences, which is an optional two to three hours. The Health Career program is a certified nursing assistant program. After completion of this class, you will have earned a CNA certification through Johnson County Community College. You will gain practical experience and tuition will be paid through Kansas Senate Bill 155. The requirements are listed there. I want to remind all students that they must have a negative TB test turned in before they can begin the Health Careers Program. For more information, contact Chris Kennedy at Olathe North. Also at Olathe North is the Culinary Arts Program, where students learn from industry professionals and work in state-of-the-art commercial kitchen atmosphere. For more information, contact Mike Krastowski at Olathe North. Enrollment procedures. This is the most important part. The first step is you must attend a tour in order to be eligible. Tour permission forms are available in the Student Service Office bring back signed permission form to the student services before the day of the tour. Students cannot go on a tour without a permission form. After the tour, you must complete and return an application as soon as possible so it can be processed and considered. Spaces are limited. And then acceptance is the third part. Selections will be made in May. At that time, Mr. Dane will change your enrollment and put you in those classes. Very important information here for the tour dates and times. Olathe Adva Advanced Technical Center and Olathe North High School tour will be Friday, January 24th. We will leave Olathe Northwest at 8 a.m. and return around noon. The other tour for the Early Childhood Program at Heartland and Harmony Elementary will be Wednesday, January 15th. We will leave Olathe Northwest at 8.30 a.m. You must attend these tours to be part of the program. If you cannot make one of these tours, an optional opportunity is providing at Olathe Advanced Technical Center. There's an evening open house on Tuesday, February 4th from 6 to 8 p.m. You must attend the tour or the open house in order to receive an application to be considered for these programs. 
If you have questions, see Mr. Dane in the Student Service Office or contact one of the instructors from the program areas. Thank you.